Hello, Libra. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your monthly reading for June of 2021. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up, guys? So I'm in a different setting right now for those of you that have been following for long enough. And if you're curious, uh, I'm in a, I'm not at home. Um, I'm at a friend's place right now because there's there are some, uh, there's a good amount of power issues going on on the island right now. And unfortunately, I happen to be part of the group of people that still does not have power. Uh, it's been like four days now, but that's okay. Um, you know, it'll get, it's a thing, but like whatever. So that, so I'm out of friends right now, uh, working from here. So anyway, this is going to be a general energy reading. Yes, so please uh, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. We are talking about anything that needs to come out for you right now. So whether this is love, uh, business, finance, just like, well, it doesn't matter, all right? Whatever the message is, and that's the message that's coming out for this moment. Um, and it is a general rest message. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. It's not necessarily going to resonate for everybody. But also, um, you could be talking to, uh, either we're talking to a Libran right now, or we're talking to a cross watcher that's watching for a Libran. So uh, depending on how things, how it's being narrated, if whatever resonates for you naturally, then take that and just place it wherever it fits in your life specifically. But if it doesn't resonate for you, like if it doesn't make sense and it doesn't feel applicable, then don't worry about it. And that's just not, that part of the message just isn't for you, okay? Um, also, this is a timeless reading, all right? So just because it's a message that's coming for, through for the month of June, it doesn't mean that it has to resonate for you at that time. Um, you know, whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's for the message for you in that moment, whether it's something from the past, something for your current life, or something that may be coming on down the pipeline, okay? All right, let's get into your pre-shuffle energies, Libra. I like the energy that I see here for you, okay? Um... I like it a lot. It feels like you've come out a very, come out of a very difficult period. All right. First card out was the fool. After was the eight of swords in reverse. So there's definitely an energy of liberation that's happening for you here. Either this is currently happening, you're slowly but surely making your way out of some sort of mental imprisonment, mental entrapment, or just some mental mental difficulty. Um, or you've already reached this new state, or you, you've broken yourself free. You find yourself in a free position here. You also have that with the Emperor, okay? And at the bottom of the deck is the King of Swords, wow, and the King of Cups. All right, this is really beautiful. So, um, yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. But this is really beautiful, Libra, because it really feels like whatever it is, well, first of all, there's a lot of masculine energy coming through for you right now. Um, and so to me, between the Emperor, the King of Swords, and the King of Cups here, there's a lot of logic and understanding. Now, the King of Cups is it does have an emotional element to him, yes. Definitely more emotional than maybe, than well, definitely more emotional than the King of Swords or the Emperor. So that, to me, is a very balancing aspect. But with all of that, that's all of this masculine energy between the Emperor, the King of Swords, and the King of Cups here... There is a very logical, uh, truth-based mental space that you may find yourself in right now. I really, really like that for you. And then with the King of Cups here, there is also a level of uh, emotional maturity. Like you're not completely re uh, um, renouncing all emotion, but at the same time, you're very balanced, you're very stable, you're very sturdy emotionally at this time, okay? Which is beautiful which is really beautiful. It feels like you're very much in control of yourself, your surroundings, of your circumstances, or at least just what you're able to have control over. Because obviously all you can really control is yourself, right? And the way that you approach your situation, the way that you show up for things, the way that you react to things, whether you react or respond, you know, that kind of energy, okay? I really like that for you. Now, there was one more card that came out here. It did come out face down. It was the Two of Wands. And I feel like that's a hidden element or a hidden energy for you right now. I feel like you're going to have to make a decision in terms of which direction you want to move in. Uh, in the near future, I definitely want to say that. And I feel like it's very connected to the Fool energy here for you. I feel like right now, um, wherever, whenever you this reading resonates for you, at first... 
you reach this energy of being ready to take a leap of faith, feeling free, not feeling bogged down, not really having too much energy that's controlling you or keeping you from moving in any direction you want to go in. And in the very near future, very soon, again, regardless of when this is resonating for you, I am kind of feeling a, 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 a timeline or maybe a chronology of the energy. You start in this fool energy where you're ready to take a leap of faith. You feel safe and secure in yourself and you're ready to just go in whatever direction you feel is right for you and then moving forward here there's going to be a, a choice to be made okay i just feel like right now what's best for you or at least in the beginnings here what's best for you is to revel in this fool energy to just allow yourself to sink into uh feeling free okay feeling comfortable feeling divinely guided is what i just heard look as i say that then here comes the high the, the high priestess Okay, definitely feeling divinely guided. Having come out of um, some sort of really confining situation or um, maybe in an institution, this could be a marriage, um, but just any, but see the, the Hierophant here feels very similar to what the Eight of Swords was for you, okay? And it seems like now that lesson or that cycle is over and now you are more connected to the divine guidance to your higher guidance to your intuition to the wisdom of the universe because you've been able to overcome whatever challenges um challenges or maybe really hard tough lessons with the hierophant here you've been able to complete that cycle i also want to point out that we have the counterparts between the hierophant and the high priestess okay and to be honest, Libra, I really do feel like you are moving from a very masculine-oriented uh, lesson or time period to now a more feminine-oriented time period, which absolutely makes all kinds of sense because of all the masculine energy that came out in the beginning between the Emperor, the King of Swords, and the King of Cups. And now you're moving into the you're you're stable, you're solid, you're logically you know you're logically sound. You are in an emotionally stable and mature place and now that is helping you with a with a form of stability a sense of stability to to really move forward in a in a a, a manner that's through divine guidance here oh my god and then look at this look at this i was just thinking remember i just said we have the counterparts between the hierophant and the high priestess and then i was talking through and it was like oh wow that's right we had the emperor i wonder if the empress is going to come out there she is. Okay. Uh, the strongest thing that I'm getting is divine guidance. Your divine guidance is very clear right now, Libra. And I do feel like you are moving into a more resensitive, uh, a more resensitive, a more sensitive, receptive, feminine time period in your life, which is beautiful. But you are taking with you the hard lessons. The, the, the value of the hard lessons that you learned or the tough lessons that you learned, the masculine-oriented lessons that you, you learned. It feels like you've come out of cycle a cycle of masculine teachings and now you're moving into a feminine cycle, which is beautiful. And this is helping you to balance and, and round out your relationship between masculine and feminine energy within yourself. Although, Libra, I do feel like for most of you, um, you... This is like, a, this is a new phase. I feel like for most, or at least maybe not most of you, but for some of you, um, you were, were, you've been working on this balance between, this harmonized union, excuse me, between masculine and feminine energy within yourself for a while now. And we're just taking you to the next step here, okay? That's what's, yeah. That's what the universe is saying. That's what this divine guidance is. ¿Qué es esto? Yep, there it is. There it is right there. Okay, excellent. All right, look, this is there's more to this pre-shuffle for you. You are definitely starting a new uh, level, a new cycle here that is going to bring you feminine, receptive lessons and teachings. You have the Page of Pentacles, which in this deck... Now, pages are normally pretty uh, androgynous, okay? They can be represented as... They can be seen as masculine and feminine, Okay, they have that, that androgyny about them. But in this deck, this is very clearly a young woman. You have this with the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Okay, a feminine cycle. Libra, this is also you. But then at the bottom of the deck here, you do have the King of Swords 
with the high priestess and the hierophant at the bottom of the deck. But what this is saying to me here is you are taking what you learn from the masculine cycle, from the masculine side or whatever this last really tough cycle has been for you. And now you're moving forward in a more feminine way. Okay. With compassion and understanding, but also clear logic. Yes. Beautiful. And with what you learned in the past cycle, that King of Swords energy is representing a very firm, strong, solid, solid foundation in clarity and truth. So whatever and whatever you express moving forward <clears throat> as the Queen of Swords, I feel like it's going to be very balanced. Okay, this is really excellent for you, Libra. Very, very excellent. All right, let's give this five shuffles for you, and we'll get into the rest of your reading. Yeah, one. Two, three, four, my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of June 2021. This is four. What messages do we have? Whoops, let's try that again. What messages do we have for Libra? This month, please, Spirit. This is, woo, this is five. All right, Libra. Let's cut the deck. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you. Starting you off with the Four of Wands. Solid experience. Your experiences in your life up until this point, Libra, have led you to a very solid, firm foundation within yourself. And that's exactly what those lessons were meant for, okay? Underneath the Four of Wands, you do have the Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful. With the King of Cups, yet again, and the Knight of Swords. That's interesting. It's very interesting, Libra. Okay, and uh, this happened naturally. You Actually, you guys saw me do it. So this act happened completely naturally, so I'm going to take it. Yeah, you have underneath the Knight of Swords, you do have the Tower, and then underneath the Tower, you have the Magician. And it's so funny, Libra, because what I was going to say here is I feel like with whatever this cycle is that has closed out for you recently and the level of maturity, both emotionally and mentally, I will say, that you've come to here, you are the one that's fighting against this tower energy. You are the one that's bringing something down, bringing something to a close, consciously aware that you need to bring something to a close and are manifesting something else, something new. Yeah, you are, you are consciously, Libra, you are consciously moving away from lack mentality, from poverty, from sadness. You are creating this change, this wheel of fortune, this luck, this good fortune, this brand new cycle because of the emotional maturity that you reached and the foundation that you have reached within yourself, four of wands, all right? I love this, Libra. I absolutely love this. Let's keep going. All right. First half of your reading, first set of surrounding energies, we've got... There's the Empress again. Yes, entering into a more feminine cycle. Um, I will say, Libra, that with this energy, especially with what, the, uh, well, okay, it is coming through the Empress, but with this energy here, I feel like your next phase or whatever this new phase is for you is going to allow you to manifest things very quickly and much easier. I feel like this last phase that you went through in terms of the masculine energies and the really tough lessons that are involved with that, it um, was guiding you to, in some way, and I don't know if this is actually going to, saying it this way is actually going to do it justice, but it just feels like it was getting you to trust yourself more, was getting you to break some of the habits and the struggles. And I, I just feel like you're entering into this next feminine cycle, Libra, with way more trust in the divine and the universe and with way more ease. And and that's why this feels like, it doesn't feel like this is a brand new, a, 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 a new thing for you, Libra, in terms of balancing and working with masculine and feminine energies. Because I feel like 
with this empress energy, you're moving into this next cycle with much more ease. Much more willingness to trust the universe, okay? Much, much more willingness to trust in being receptive and allowing things to align itself for you, allowing, your, allowing things to come towards you because the feminine is receptivity, okay? Or one of the things femininity represents is receptiveness or receptivity, yeah. Excuse me. The empress is coupled with temperance. Good Lord, Libra, look, there you go. I definitely feel like you're entering into this next cycle, Libra, with much greater balance, with much greater ease. And what's allowing you to, to, to really sink even deeper into the allowing is the fact that you have this balance, this, this sense of integration within yourself already. Okay, this is just another example as to why it doesn't feel like this is a brand new thing for you. It feels like you've been working on this successfully for quite a good amount of time. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Libra, in the first half of your reading, you do have the Four of Pentacles. Solid foundation, a solid financial foundation. Uh, I do feel like you're going to be coming into a time period where your finances are going to settle, are going to um, sta stabil uh, stabilize, excuse me. You're going to, your, your finances or your, at least your physical situation is going to stabilize. Okay. Four of Pentacles is coupled with, woo, the devil. You have successfully circumvented the energies of the devil. This is temptation, loss, fear, things like that. Gluttony, maybe. Interestingly, I'm definitely getting a sense of gluttony here because of the mouth that's on the devil's belly. You see that? Overindulgence in some way, that's, which is interesting because if you are a Libra moon, that tends to be one of the pitfalls, right? And that's also interesting because I've been I've been doing a lot more studying of astrology and I, I, I'm studying sidereal astrology and I've been very paying very close attention to how, to my progressed chart. And I am actually, in terms of my progressed chart, I am a Libra moon right now. And I understand the sense of gluttony or self-indulgence. But again, I feel like this is this is stabilized for you. And you and, and the reason why you're able, you're, 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 you have this ability or you're moving into this next phase of financial or just physical stability is because you have faced whatever the devil is for you successfully and dealt with it, okay? Uh, I also feel for some of you that the devil can't knock you off your solid foundation, all right? Your challenge here, Libra, in the first half of your reading is the Knight of Pentacles, moving slowly, trusting the process, trusting the universe, moving forward in a way that is slow and methodical and builds day by day, step by step, instance by instance, not trying to rush anything. Believing in yourself, believing in the power of the universe, believing in your own manifestational powers, and just allowing the situation or whatever it is you're trying to create for yourself at this time, allowing it to just move forward at the progress that's necessary for whatever it is you're trying to build. Not the way other people think measure your progress or success or, or set certain goals for where you should be at a certain time. No, this is what intrinsically feels right for you. And it's because of this last cycle between moving, working with masculine and feminine energy, right? And now you're in the next cycle of that. You've leveled up here. You have the ability to allow things, to trust the universe and allow things to take shape or take form as it, uh, as it does on a personal case by case basis, right? So that's a challenge. This is your challenge here, but it doesn't, to be honest with you, Libra, it doesn't really feel like that much of a challenge for you because you have uh, experience, a good amount of experience under your belt in terms of this, okay? Knight of Pentacles is coupled with the Six of Pentacles. This is beautiful. Uh, I feel like whatever you, ha I just heard service-based venture. 
some of you could be starting a brand new venture, which could be which could end up being very successful for you in the future. Okay. And if this is not a new venture, then maybe it's uh, progressing forward with an old one or something that's uh, that you've been working on for a while, you know. But I did just hear you have good experience under your belt. So take that into account, all right? Don't let anybody try and discredit you. Okay. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Libra, in the first half of your reading. You have the Three of Swords. You've dealt with a lot of heartbreak lately. Honestly, Libra... I feel like this is representative of what you've overcome. I don't feel like this is brand new heartbreak for you. I feel like this is where you're coming from. And you've successfully overcame it. Three of Swords is coupled with the Two of Wands. Okay, so there's that Two of Wands again. Some of you are going to have to choose a new direction. There is a relationship that's ending for some of you. For and for some of you, you have not reached what this three of this what this three of swords is representing specifically. For some of you, this does feel like there is a brand new heartbreak or difficult situation that's going to cause you to choose to move in a new direction. It's going to be a catalyst for this. For others of you, you've already experienced this. And you're choosing a new direction because of it. But regardless as to where you find yourself timeline-wise in this, ultimately, I feel like this, I just heard overcame again. This is something you're going to overcome. And honestly, it feels like it's a blessing in disguise somehow. All right? Okay. Okay. Second half of your reading here, Libra. First set of surrounding energies. You have judgment. Rising above. Again, Libra, this... And maybe this is because I'm really starting to identify with currently being a Libra moon. So it's... it's Don't mind me. Um, this judgment here... I just keep hearing you overcame something, Libra. Again, this feels like a past energy. You have recently overcome something. You have recently gone through a wake-up call. And, and what I'm hearing is success lies ahead because of this, because of your change in ways, because of your change in focus, okay? Judgment is coupled with there it is. The Eight of Swords. All right, so it's, okay. So what I was saying in terms of um, the fact that I'm, I'm starting to understand how I'm expressing certain Libra moon qualities in my life right now because my progress chart is a Libra, is Libra moon, moon, moon and Libra. I'm feeling kind of clouded. And I feel like we're talking about all these past energies. We're not really talking about something too predictive for you. And I was thinking originally that maybe this is my affiliation with having a Libra moon right now. But no, no, this is the reading for you. Eight of Swords, Judgment. You have overcome something pretty serious, pretty intense. Uh, I am hearing life changing. You have effectively gotten yourself out of some sort of mental prison, some sort of mental entrapment, or just mental difficulty. And it has everything to do with the past, okay? What you've experienced in the past. Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading, Libra, is the Two of Pentacles, finding physical balance, also finding financial balance. Yeah. I just heard allowing your life to balance itself out on its own, not trying to, not trying to direct or, or constrict or confine or um, the energies in any way. Sorry, there are mosquitoes flying around and I'm trying not to get bit, but them skaters, it is what it is. Not trying to control it too much. That's the word I was looking for. Not trying to control it. 
instead allowing it to happen naturally given the energetic vibration or the energetic circumstances you have at you, around you at this time given the, the vibration that you are expressing okay i do under i feel like especially with this four of wands here in the overall energy for you the first card of overall energy speaking to your uh mm, i just heard emotional foundation or even spiritual foundation this the, the foundation you have within you are more focused on your internal alignment rather than the external because you're aware of the fact that your internal reality creates or influences, manifests your external. So you're not going to try and control the external too much. You're going to try and work with it from the internal space, and I like that a lot. That's really beautiful. Two of Pentacles is coupled with the Page of Cups. There you go. There's that emotional reality, that internal reality. Uh, almost even, this is really beautiful, approaching the balancing or the reshaping of your external reality through the eyes and the wisdom I just heard of a child, approaching it from a very playful point of view. I love that. That is so cute. Okay. Your challenge here, Libra, in the second half of your reading, oh, there's the Hierophant again. But the Hierophant is saying to you, don't forget what you learned. Don't forget the challenges that you experienced in the past. The Hierophant is coupled with the Two of Cups. A challenging relationship. I did hear that. So this has to do with a challenging relationship for some of you. A past challenging relationship. This could actually be a marriage with the Hierophant here. But the challenges were necessary. Don't forget what you learned in those experiences because those experiences have helped you to facilitate the bond between the masculine and the feminine within you. If the Two of Cups doesn't represent an external relationship with another human being or just another being external to you, because I even as I said that, I recognize that, you know, you, we could even be talking about animals and pets. Okay, that's cute. But if it doesn't represent that, then to me, it represents your relationship with yourself. Okay? And, and like I've been saying, Libra, you are, if you're resonating with this reading, you are entering into a... A feminine cycle. You've been working with the masculine and the feminine, and now you're entering into a more feminine energy right now. And all of the experiences you've been going through have been helping you to reshape or remodel or build, strengthen this bond of masculine and feminine within yourself. So do not forget the lessons that you learned in that past cycle, okay? Closing message or potential outcome for you, Libra, in the second half of your reading. You have happiness and wish fulfillment. The Nine of Cups. Beautiful. Take the time to enjoy this period of your life. Like I said, in the, in the pre-shuffle energies, you have a moment coming up where you're going to need to choose a direction. But right now, you're in this fool energy where you're just, you're ready to go. You're ready to take the leap of faith. You know, you're confident, you're steady, you're feeling good. So allow yourself to enjoy this time, okay? But I also feel like there's more of this coming forward for you. Nine of Cups is coupled with, the, yep, the Page of Pentacles. You, there's the Page of Pentacles again. You are about to enter into a brand new cycle or situation. You have gone through a level up and there's going to be much more happiness and satisfaction on a mundane level for you, Libra, okay? In this new cycle. In this new awareness is also what I just heard. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Let's close out this reading with some oracle guidance from the Crystal Mandala deck for you. Yeah. Five shuffles here. One. Two. Three. Four, and five. 
All right, closing oracle guidance from my Libras, please, Spirit. What closing message do you have for Libra this month? Excellent. Card number 52, Goddess Durga and Hematite, Spear of the Guru Mother. Ooh, okay. I'm sorry, 52, not 32. Did I say 32? I meant 52. Okay, anyway. Alrighty. Spear of the Guru Mother. We bring you the empowerment of Spear of the Guru Mother. Sometimes there is so much choice that we struggle to commit. It is often not an issue of unwillingness to make an effort, but concern that the choice might not be the, quote, right choice. We pray to the universe to be shown what to do according to a wisdom greater than our own. Although our free will is always in place, we are able to accept a task divinely given or reject it. The universe answers every prayer. In your heart, you have been asking for guidance to be shown what you need to do in a particular situation or perhaps more generally in your life at this time. You want to know the best way forward so your actions are in alignment with heaven. In response, you have now become the spear of the guru mother. Stand by. Okay, let's, let's, I'm going to, I'm going to, because that felt like it was a little um, vague and open-ended. Let's read a little bit more. The Oracle also, oh wait, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, all right. Let's start here. The Oracle also comes to you with this understanding. If the divine gives you a task, you can handle it. Even if you are going to need to grow, you have it within to complete it successfully. When the universe gives you an opportunity or life situation to work through, it is giving you a vote of confidence. The Divine Mother says to you, here is my will. I'll empower you. Now go for it. If you want to take her advice, don't hesitate or doubt. Be as focused and forward moving as if you were the spear that she had thrown with her almighty hand and flawless aim, heading straight towards the center of the target. When the oracle of the spear of the guru mother comes to you, you are being told your efforts have divine power behind them. The situations in your life you are willing to grapple with are going to resolve far more quickly and potently than you might have believed possible. The power of your efforts, sorry, the power of your efforts, of your own efforts, amplified by with divine will, creates extraordinary movement. Distraction, procrastination, and hesitation shall not touch you. Your focus will be complete and your task shall be attained. The trust you feel in yourself and the divine will increase because of this. You will gain more confidence in yourself. You'll become game for bigger and bolder challenges. The universe will be able to ask more of you and give you more because you shall be increasingly open to it. The risk you take at this time with absolute intention will bring you so much more than than resolution of the task at hand. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so very much. I hope you have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of July. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>